Welcome to the FLAT demo. FLAT, or the Folia Linguistic Annotation Tool, is a web-based annotation tool for linguistic annotation. It allows you to view linguistically annotated documents and to edit or add annotations of your own. A wide variety of linguistic annotation types is supported. FLAT is built around the Folia format. This is a rich XML-based format for the representation of linguistically annotated documents. Your annotations will be stored in this format and various other software tools and programming libraries are available for further processing of these Folia documents. On the login screen you see the usual fields for username and password as well as the configuration field. FLAT can work in multiple configurations. Your system administrator will make uh, various configurations available and these usually correspond to a specific annotation project. FLAT is very configurable when it comes to all its features and if you would have all the features enabled it would be very overwhelming for the end user. You have to set specific options for the end user to use. This is done in the form of a configuration. So the user selects basically the annotation project he, he, he is participating in and the FLAT features will be enabled or disabled based on how it was configured. You log in by typing your username and password as usual and after having selected the proper configuration you will be presented the document index. The document index consists of several directories or so-called namespaces. You have one directory with your username and that is your personal namespace in which your documents are by default located. You can upload new Folia XML documents by clicking the upload, doc upload document button and you can add new directories as well. The system administrator of FLAT may have enabled uh, file management options for you as well, so that would allow you to copy files, to remove files, or to move files to other namespaces. In this instance we have one example document. We click it to load it, and here we are presented the interface. In the interface you see the, your document uh, visualized. The perspective on the document may differ. In this case we have the full document perspective, but you may also select other perspectives depending on the configuration of flat you are in. Uh, your project administrator may have also set another perspective for the data. For example, the sentence perspective will show only each sentence, and you see each sentence in a small uh, box. We would, uh, if you have such a perspective, you can also page through it if it consists of multiple pages, if it's too long to present on one screen. We return to the full document uh, perspective. One of the most notable things about the full document perspective is that you see the document structure visualized properly. You see, for example, that the, the top header is an actual header highlighted in bold. You see a, a small bulleted list here, and we even see a picture here. This is just an image that uh, happens to be in this document. Here on the bottom, we see a small table. So, Folia preserves document structure, and FLAT is capable of actually showing you this uh, exact document structure. If you move your mouse cursor over the words, you will see the linguistic annotations for each word visualized. In this case we are in the full configuration, so we basically see everything there is in this example document. If we want to constrain the linguistic annotations we see in our pop-ups, we go to the local annotations menu and all these uh, options here are toggle options. When it's green it's enabled, so we can for example disable the annotations we do not want to see in our pop-up. Now we already see less. It is also possible to visualize the annotations on a more global level. For that you can go to the global annotations menu and select the linguistic annotation types you want to visualize globally. For example we select part of speech tags as well as lemmas. Now you see that for each word in the global overview there is a part of speech tag and there is a lemma so you can immediately see the annotations more complex annotation types can also be visualized in this fashion for example we can visualize 
a syntax or a constituency parse. If we enable this toggle, we will see in the interface that all constituents are shown above the words. So this is a flat representation of a tree. Usually in annotation projects you have a very specific linguistic annotation type upon which, uh, you, are, upon which you are focusing. Um, in flat you can select such an annotation in the annotation focus menu. So let's for example focus on part of speech text. Now we see in another way a visualization of all the part of speech tags in the document. They are colored according to the, their classes. On the left hand side we see a legend uh, describing all the classes used for this particular annotation type. The folio format and flat are capable of representing exactly who annotated what annotation and exactly at what time. You can visualize this information by going to the Tools and Options menu and selecting Show Annotator Details. If you enable this and you hover over a word, you see in green here who exactly annotated which annotation. So you see the lemmatization was done by an old uh, lemmat article, Tadpole, and part of speech annotation was done by me, Proicon, uh, which I did manually. The time of the annotation is also exactly recorded. Flat is a tool that can be used by multiple users at once. Um, with this I mean that multiple users can edit the same document at once, in a similar fashion as, uh, for example, Google Docs. Here in the top right corner you see the number 1, which indicates the number of uh, people that are currently viewing or editing the document. Flat is built in a modular fashion and consists of several modes. Right now we are in the editor mode. But everything we have discussed thus far is only related to viewing. So if we were in the viewer mode, we would have seen exactly the same. You can switch modes from the modes mo menu on the top left corner. Flat also features a small metadata editor. This is one of the modes. If you want to go there, you go to the modes menu and you click metadata editor. You will be presented a new screen and here you see all metadata fields and their values. You can add values and, and fields as you desire. The metadata is stored in the document as Folia native metadata. When you want to actually edit annotations, you simply click the word in question. So here we have the annotation editor. In this case, I disabled most of the annotations in the editor annotations menu, which means that only these two are visualized in the annotation editor. You see the part of speech tag of the word I selected. The selected word is highlighted in yellow. You can now change the part of speech tag or the text of the word. Optionally, you can set a confidence value in uh, the editor. Uh, this uh, shows how confident you are in the annotation. If you do this, you slide using a slider to indicate your level of confidence in your annotation. When you are done, you press the OK button and the annotation will be made. You see a submitted notification on the right hand. The part of speech at annotation we have seen thus far is a rather simple type of annotation, uh, but flat is also used for more complex annotation types. For example, we select uh, named entities as annotation focus, there are no named entities in the top part of the document, but here in the bottom part, there are a few named entities. You see uh, two names and two institutions or organizations. With the annotation focus on named entities, and I will have to disable other annotation types in the editor in the meantime. Mm. So we see only the entities when we click. Okay. So now if we click an entity such as this one, you see in the editor the uh, entity organization. And this is a drop-down list 
from which you can select various uh, uh, entity types. These li this list comes from a so-called foliar set definition file. So this is not predetermined by flat, but it is actually a feature of the foliar format. If you have set definitions, you define what classes are valid for your annotation type. The user can then automatically select these in a pull-down list. Now we have selected uh, an entity that consists of three words. These are all highlighted in yellow. If we click, click the select span button, we can modify this span. So we can, for example, keep uh, put, uh, omit the word Rabout or omit the word Nijmegen and we can enable it again. This allows us to change the span and this is also the way in which you annotate new uh, entities. You click a word, you click the select span button and you select all the words that are part of the span. Then when you are done you can of course uh, select OK again. What you can also do when you are in the annotation editor is assign a higher order annotation. This is possible with any kind of uh, of annotation. If you go to this uh, button on the right, this menu on the right, you see add command and add description. This allows you to associate a command or a description with any uh, annotation uh, in, uh, in, the, in Folia. So for example we can add a command this is an entity and we press OK to add it. When you hover over the word again or over the annotation, you see the command in the local pop-up. Flat features multiple edit modes. When you click an annotation, you will see some small buttons like the D, the N or the C. This refers to the, to the edit mode. The most common edit mode is the direct edit mode. This means that when you edit the uh, annotation, it will be edited directly. There is also the new annotation mode. This means that whenever you edit an annotation and you submit it, it will be submitted as a new annotation. And this is, for example, useful in case you have overlapping spans. A third edit mode is the correction edit mode. If you select this edit mode, then whenever you submit your uh, edit, it is recorded as a correction on the original uh, annotation. And both the original annotation and the new one are preserved. The correction is always uh, qualified by a class that describes the nature of the correction, like a wrong type, for example. Flat is also very suitable for the annotation of correction of orthography or spelling correction. For example, if we go to the word Tavel here, we see that this word was corrected. The prior version had a different syntax. It had EI instead of IJ. And this was wrong. It was corrected as being a non-word error and the new text is correct. Similarly, we can have co more complex corrections like this word, Handschriften. This used to be uh, uh, a run-on error, or I should say a split error actually. The, the word was split in two words, whilst it should be one word. You can see that uh, flat is capable of representing all these uh, corrections. All changes to your document will be automatically saved. If you want to go back to any prior changes, you can go to the Tools and Options menu and go to the History and Undo dialog. When you see this dialog, you see all the past changes and you can revert to any past version. In the back end, this is done using a Git repository. You can also explicitly save any versions with an explicit version label. This you can do here on the right hand side. The source of any document is always accessible through the Tools and Options menu by going to the View Folia XML Source option. This will show you the XML source of the document. Also from the document index you can immediately download your Folia XML documents. Flat communicates with a server running on the background which is the Folia document server. This server holds all documents in memory and will unload it as soon as it's not used anymore. Communication between Flat and this backend is done using a special query language called the Folia query language. 
whenever you make any change, so for example, we change the lemma here, you can select a uh, queue for later submission. This will not immediately submit your uh, submission, but will save the query for later submission. Let's do this. You see now that there's a notification queued and the item that you changed is highlighted in red with yellow text. There's now a submit queue button which you can use to submit all prior changes. We can also actually visualize what is in the queue by going to the tools and options menu and then to the query console. If you open the query console you see exactly the FQL query or the Folia query language query that will be submitted to the backend. This query console may be of interest for advanced users. For, for normal users, the benefit of using uh, this queue mechanism is that it is quicker. If you directly submit uh, a query, it will take a little bit of time. If you want to quickly submit lots of queries, then this queue mechanism may be useful for normal users as well. So this concludes our flat demonstration video. Um, I still want to say that Flat is open source software and it's available from GitHub as well as from the Python package index. On GitHub you can consult the sources and there is as well links to documentation here. Documentation consists of an installation guide, an administration guide and a user guide for end users. The user guide shows a lot of the things that I've just shown in the video as well. The installation guide shows you exactly how to install uh, Flat on your own server. The administration guide shows you how to configure the Flat configurations as an administrator, how to set the options precisely for your annotation project. So it is also available from the Python package index as the Folia linguistic annotation tool. Let me look, look it up like this. Yeah. Feel free to contact me with any questions or comments regarding FLAT if you are planning on using it. And you can also leave uh, bug reports and feature requests on the issue tracker on GitHub. Thank you for your attention.